It's another edition of Monday Night with the Red and White presented by Not at McAllister's Deli. We turn our attention to the hardwood tonight. Head basketball coach James Whitford joins us. It's been a while since we've spoken. Uh, your season literally was ripped out from under you with everything that's happened over the last couple of weeks. So with that said, what's the adjustment process been like? Well, it, it's uh, two parts. One, all of us adjust in our life to, to – uh, our own environments with, so that's no different for us than it is for the rest of the people around the country. And then with our team, you know, the big adjustment has been uh, for our staff trying to find a way to recruit from our living room like this, just like we are now. And from our players trying to find a way to get better with them, the basketball and the driveway. <laughs> and, uh, so we're putting those two pieces together to make it work. Let's talk about the recruiting aspect of it because you guys have been really busy. You made news again today. Uh, first European player in program history is kind of cool. Uh, how have you gone about recruiting and figuring out the pieces you're going to bring in and then cultivating relationships uh, to, to sign Jalen Reggie and, uh, and Temu? Well, it's, it's been interesting for sure. But, uh, you know, we've been trying to stay on the front end of adapting to the new environment. You know, the good thing for us is we've had a lot of scholarships, but there's been a ton of players become available in the spring. Each year there's more and more, and there was a lot of good players available. And, uh, and the cultivating relationships was interesting because, you know, you're doing it normally by the phone, but because you can't see in people in person, you're doing a lot by video. We were able to really create this, like, really kind of digital – uh, fortress of video that, that they could, I can figure it out. They put it on my phone and I just got to click on the videos that I want and send it to them. And, and, uh, it's been a video for dummies one oh one. It's a boomer. But, uh, we had, we've had all this great content that we've been able to use to really supplement, uh, our natural recruiting process, uh, in light of the, the pandemic. And, I know you're a big relationships guy, though, and, and Jalen even said one of the reasons that he liked Ball State was the relationships you have with your players. Uh, what's different about and, – and to some extent, guys like Jalen, guys like Reggie, you, you knew a little bit. How do you change that and, and build a relationship when this is the relationship that you have? You know, I, I found personally that video is pretty good. You know, like a phone call is not very good. There's a big difference between a video call and a phone call in making connections. And it's certainly not face to face, but a lot better than just talking to somebody. And then in a couple of those, you know, like what Jalen referenced, one of the things that was really meaningful to me, and I think meaningful to our program is, you know, we just, we, he knows a lot of people that are either in our program or have been in our program. And those guys are, or have had very good experiences at Ball State. And so I think that, that, you know, it was a kind of a grassroots recruiting in a, in a way that, it was very meaningful to me because it came from partially from us, but it came from people that he knew that had been in the program. And, and I think Reggie, the same thing. How have you just forget basketball? Like how have you entertained the team? How have you kept in touch with the team? How have you kept everyone on the same page? Well, we do these, these uh, zoom calls or uh, we do these, uh, what do they call WebEx calls uh, with the team? Sometimes once, sometimes twice a week, uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, individual calls. And then we've done some other things. Uh, we're doing this social media takeover right now with InstaFace. Uh, I say in honor of Bill Belichick. And uh, I have a day coming up on Friday. And then uh, I've, I've boycotted social media probably about as long as I can. And uh, that's going to unfortunately have to end on Friday. And then um, and we did a Cahoots Challenge, got the idea from Mike New, just passed out a quiz to our guys today. And just finding ways to stay in goal, get engaged, and, and really try to keep our group feeling connected and not feel like we're isolated apart, but connected as much as we can be in this environment. How about from a basketball sense? Because you are so big on the off-season development program. What have you drawn up for guys with a basketball, a hoop, and a driveway? Well, they have, they have uh, obviously weight programs that they're doing, and the strength coach is giving them weight programs that's based on what they have available to them. Some are body weight workouts. Some have access to weights. And, uh, and then from a basketball, we're really trying to get better at ball handling. Some of the guys have a hoop. A lot of them don't have a hoop. And it's not very easy to get better at shooting when you're on your own anyway, uh, when you're rebounding for yourself. And it's the one thing you can get better is ball handling. So they all have ball handling routines. And uh, might as well use this time to get better at something that we're going to work on during the year anyway. 
We're going to be the Harlem Globetrotters when we come back, is what you're saying. Yeah, a lot of dribbling and not much shooting. But we're going to be able to shoot eventually. But, you know, you have to work within the framework of what you have. That's the easiest thing to get better at now. So we might as well bend more time on that now and bend more time on the other stuff when you have easier access to improve in the other areas.